What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Rain World. Just a short little series to show off a game where I get to play a cat slug. I checked this one out at PAX East, and in all honesty, I was struck by the inherent weirdness and like uniqueness of it. And so anyways, I wanted to cover it for a little while, show you guys a couple episodes of gameplay so you can get a feel for whether or not it's something that you can be into before you go and spend your hard-earned scratch on it. <laughs> Scratches cats. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. It just goes to show you, don't drop your baby kitten slug into a lake full of pee. That's not how a baby's supposed to be handled. Oh my goodness. So I'm actually playing this with an Xbox controller so that you guys can get a feel for the way that I'm playing. And in fact, one thing I do like about this game a lot is that contextually, when you go into the game, it asks you what you're using. Like, the first thing you do when the game loads up, it says, are you using the keyboard? Are you using an Xbox controller? Are you using a PlayStation controller? And then you tell it which one you're using. And then inside the game, it changes all of the contextual stuff so that, oh my god, what is happening, right? Can I climb up this? Like, I'm a slug, so I would assume that I stick to stuff, right? Okay, well, I don't stick that good. I don't stick that good is what I learned today. So we're going to crawl through here. You are hungry. Find food. Okay, well, I'm going to find myself some food then. Kitty slut. That thing looks edible. You know, the animation style in this game, it kind of reminds me of Out of This World or maybe like Flashback almost. That thing is teleporting all over the place. How do I capture it, though? I would like to eat it because I am hungry. My kitty tum, it hungers. Oh, I can't eat that thing back there? Well, fine, then. I want to eat it anyways. We're going to catch one of these little bastards. They don't look that delicious. Frankly, if I saw that... Oh, my God. Oh, I can climb up ropes. Holy shit, dude. Okay, so we're climbing up ropes now. Can I grab onto that rope? Do I die from fall damage? Sorry, kitty slug. I got to do some tests. I know you're adorable, and I know you don't want to die right now, but I, I just got to tell... Okay. So, apparently, he just fires a whole bunch of water out of his butt when he hits the ground like that. So, it looks like there's... A couple different areas we can creep around at. Namely, there's one up here. There's a pipe over on the right. Catch and eat them. Oh, these little things? Ooh. How do I eat them? I wasn't paying attention when it gave me my contextual menu. Oh my god, what is happening right now? How many can I capture? Oh, well there you go. I ate them. So I guess you've got to hold down... You've got like a hunger meter... So if I can catch them, you got to hold down the X button until that little thing fills up. And then I guess those little things at the bottom left are more than likely my health pips, maybe. So yeah, easy enough prey. Didn't seem like they were that difficult. The wild cat slug gorges himself on the bounty of moths that he finds at the strange subterranean altar in the middle of what appears to be an ancient Chrysler factory. So additional food above four is kept for later. Oh good, I've got pockets! I've got cat pockets. Hooray. Cat pockets! Alright, well, I'm gonna try and go down to this thing right here. Oh, shit, son. I almost fell and died. So it looks like I can go down pipes. I can leap the... Oh, that's just to get back. Okay, I wasn't supposed to go that way. 
Oh, so okay, so you can do like a little charge thing. Cat Slug's got hops. All right, so he's got his little Nikes on right now. Wouldn't that be adorable though? That'd be the best marketing campaign ever. Nikes on kittens. See, I'd buy more Nikes. My problem with Nikes is that she's damn expensive. You gotta hold down and then you press A and he'll launch himself like that. Nice. So rain is coming, find shelter. Is the rain bad? I'm assuming so. I mean, cats don't like to get wet, so... Is this where I want to be? Why can't I just stay in the pipe? That seems smarter to me. Maybe not. Water tends to flow through pipes. I guess not. That might be a bad plan. This place is safe. You will stay here and hibernate. Do I, like, evolve or get better at anything? Like, when I hibernate? Is that a good thing? Oh, shit, son. Robodor, why are you messing around right now? So it looks like my hunger goes down while I'm sleeping. And it does appear as though there is, like, some level up mechanic or something. It looks like we traded in our hunger to go to, like, a next level of being. Of cat slug existence, if you will. So does this come with new abilities? Does it teach me new things that I'm able to do? I'm going to jump my cat slug into the wall because it's cute when cats run into things. If you don't believe me, make your cat run into something. Throw a toy at the wall and just watch it like skid into the wall and it's hilarious. It's funny. Go explore. There's food and shelter to be found, but beware of the predators. They're so Clumsiness is always cute. That's half the reason I love my bulldog. It's just because he's clumsy all the time and he's always doing dumb shit that's hell of adorable. Objects can be picked up, carried, and tossed. Okay. What, pray tell, would I want to carry in this given predicament? Uh, oh, it's like a little... Oh, I can get like a cat slug spear. Nice. Can I stab... <gasps> Damn! He's got a throwing arm! This cat slug's got... Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I got you. I understand now, cat slug. Get this covered. The cat slug controls are a little bit odd. Like, they take some getting used to. Oh, hey, what's going on, thingies that I can eat? Come here, stop running from me. Allow me to devour you so that I might evolve and become even better at cat sluganating. Ew, the floor's all mur- Look, there's little things flying all over the place. When I walk across the floor, that shit's gross. Oh, I can roll. Well, I personally think that rolling is a much better method of transport than- is that, like, a thing that I can go down, or is that not allowed? There's definitely a climby thing right there, but whether or not I'm supposed to be climbing, it remains to be seen. All right, well, we'll go down underneath here. I think those might be frogs or something in the background, and I just thought it was mud that I was kicking up while I was moving. Is there, like, a right way to be going right now, or am I just, like, selecting random directions? Can't go that way. This way right here looks like it's already blocked off, and I'll... Oh, never mind. There it goes. I was in, like, a slot above it. Something's going to try and hunt and eat me, isn't it? I can't imagine that a creature this adorable is at the top of the food chain. That's just like a... Oh, look, he does like a balancing act. Yay! He is a cute cat. Oh, I was trying to catch that. What is that? What the shit is that thing? Throw a spear at it. No! Run away, cat slug. We have angered the beast. Oh shit, son. It's after me. It's after me. Hold on. We gotta climb up. Here we go. Hopefully it's really, really... Can I get my spear back? Let me get my spear back. I'm gonna stick this thing. Where did it go? Strange dragon beast. Where hast thou run off to? I wish to stab you once more with this piece of rebar that I found on the ground. I don't know if I like my current situation or not. Oh, I can climb up right there. Okay, the controls are a little bit odd, in case you're wondering. Like, the cat has kind of like an attachment thing going on. Here is a strange energy. Like, there's a... There's kind of a weird attachment thing going on with the slug cat. And once you play the game, you'll see what I mean. Where, like, he attaches to things. And when he attaches to them... It sometimes occurs in unpredictable... Oh, no, no. Go in the hole. Run away. Oh, I ain't messing around with that thing. What is that? How come everything wants to murder me? What is that, like some kind of crazy iguana gecko thing? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I need my spear. 
Oh no! Am I being eaten? I don't even know what's happening right now. Shit! Oh my god, he just carried me off in his mouth like prey. Dude, he carries me in between screens. Did you see that? Like, when you die, it just rubs your face in it. It's just like, yeah, it sucks to be you. You were garbage at being a slug cat. Enjoy being bad at being a slug cat while we just entertain you with a video of your body being dragged all over the place and eaten. You used to be adorable. Now you're roadkill. I'm like, I don't want to be roadkill. Being roadkill sucks. Can I pick up multiple thingies? Like, one in each hand? Oh, I can. Sweet. I'm going to throw them at something. I've got to be able to fight, and I'm willing to bet that this is not one of those games that you're supposed to stand and fight in. But I kind of want to stand and fight because, you know, they're trying to mess with me. They're trying to murder my life right now. They're trying to take it away from me. They're trying to take my life blood. And to me, that represents a declaration of war. And so we got to go in on them. We got to go get them. We got to lock, load, and hit these dudes with rebar spears. It's the only way. Prison style. Improvised weaponry. Get her done. Alright, so my assumption is that we really, really, really don't want to get ourselves into trouble with whatever those things were. I don't know what they were, but they were dicks and they tried to eat me. So this time, no throwing spears at the things that are trying to eat us, okay? Let's just keep that to a minimum. Confrontation does not appear to be one of our strong points. So we'll crawl up in here. It said there was a strange energy in this room right before it ate me with a weird monster. Can I eat that? Ooh. What just happened? My little symbol -y thing changed. Oh, if my spear sticks into the wall, I can't take it anymore. All right, well, let's stay moving. My guess is that as a prey creature, we probably don't want to be out and about too much drawing attention. So I'm just going to try and stay in motion. Got one. Although I'm going to feed myself because why not? If we can eat a couple of these little bat creature moth things, I'd be pretty happy about it. Although in nature, wherever you've got like a feeding frenzy area for one species, the other species that feeds on the one that's having the fe this feeding frenzy tends to show up too. Got you. All right, can I eat while... Oh, I can eat while suspended. Look at that, that upper body strength. Cat Slug's been working that core day. That core slash arm day. All right, so this is where we got dragged and murdered last time. Oh, I don't support this at all. All right, let's stay low. Okay, it looks like it thinks we went up back that way. So we've managed to dodge our predator. That's kind of a weird feeling, though, that they've managed to instill in this game. With all the quiet sounds and the way the game doesn't really make a whole lot of noise, like, you get the feeling that you are indeed a prey animal trying to sneak around, feed yourself, and hopefully not get eaten by something bigger. All right, so let's jump in between here. Here we go. What is that right there? I can just, like, throw things. I like the throw animation. It looks cool. It's got kind of like a ninja vibe to it. But what are cats if not little furry ninjas? Uh. I don't want to wake that thing up. Simultaneously, though, I would rather stay out of its way. Like if we can go straight over the top and just not even mess with it. I would prefer... Oh, there's actually a pit right here. Does that go anywhere? Yeah, the cat's controls are a little bit odd. Like, at times, they feel strange. It feels like the cat contextually can't decide what it wants to do every now and again. Oh, he can stand on top of it. That's adorable. What little tricks can't this cat accomplish? So we've got to get that thing out of the way. And just how we're going to accomplish that feat, I don't know. Maybe if I turn right here, I gotta get his attention. 
So I threw a rock at him, but it didn't seem to matter much. Can I take that and eat it? Oh, no. He's good at this, too. I keep forgetting they can climb. Oh, shit on me. Run. Run. Kitty slug. No, save yourself, kitty slug. I apologize for almost subjecting your body to harm at the hands of whatever that odd little dragon creature is. On the plus side. Oh, no, no. Kitty slug. Run. He's so good at almost devouring me. Just run. Kitty slug. Make a run for it. Eat the thingy in your hand. Eat the thingy. All right. Run away. Whew. Kitty slug. Get up on that bar right there. There you go. I believe in you. It's still playing the music, so I know he's still on me. It's like... Tat, 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 tat. I don't know what the thing in my hand is. I wonder if there's a difference between the colors of them, too. Like, do the colors do different things? Like the purple ones versus the... Oh, they're fighting each other. Good. Kill each other off. Oh, wow. They dragged each other down that hole. The world has, like, a wonderful organic feeling to it as well. Because all these strange things... No, kitty slug! Oh, you little shit bastard. Dude, death is so swift in this game. It's like instantaneous. Let's try this thing again. So now I'm back kind of in the region where I want to be. And so while I'm a tiny bit nervous about going through pipes, like that's the thing is going through pipes can be really, really deadly in this game if you're not paying attention real well. Uh, if I climb up here, how do I make the leap to there? That's the thing that I got to figure out. I might be able to do it with a long jump. I don't know. Can I go through here? Where's the thing that I'm looking for? There we go. So we'll go back up and through here. I think my only big qualm right now is that the controls are a little squirrely. And it makes it hard to predict what's going to happen sometimes when you try to do a certain action. That would be the first thing that I'm noticing. And actually, other than that, I really, really like the artistic design of the game. I, I like the way everything's foreign. I like the way it feels weird. It's got an out-of-this-world feeling to it where you're trying to figure out the proper course of action in order to get things done. I have no idea what that thing's pointing me at right now. Is it just telling me where I'll pop out if I do certain things? I don't know what that little yellow thing is. Like, sometimes it seems to be for a tutorial... And then other times, it seems to just point at random shit, and I don't know what it wants. I think I need to get over to there. That's what I think, is the one on the left seems like the one that we want. But i am it seems like I'm just shy of making that jump. And so, without coming up with some kind of complex plan for how the shit I'm going to get over there, I don't really know. Uh, it's not doing a whole lot of telegraphing right now as to how I'm supposed to be able to achieve that objective. Where does this one go right here? Oh, it's just a whole bunch of thoroughfares. Yeah, I don't know what that yellow thing is. I legitimately have no clue what that yellow thing is and what it wants. Like, You also seem to get stuck in some of like, the crevices and things. Where it like takes your character a bunch of time to turn around if you get stuck in like a little corner or something. I don't know if that's by design or if that's just some weird by nature of the physics gods. So this goes down and into here where there's a bunch of fruits and stuff. I'm okay with that here. Get rid of some of that stuff. Can I climb on that thing if I put it there? Oh, I can. Oh. Well, then that's an interesting thing to consider. I don't really want that. I want the fruits then. If I can stand on top of the thing that I'm throwing out there, I might be able to extend that line out a little bit. But I can't get my spear back now. Yeah, my spear is actually stuck in the wall, I think, right now. I don't know if I'll be able to get that back. That's the only part that I'm worried about here. Yeah, I can't pull it back out of the wall. So, we've got a whole bunch of pipes downwards right here. Let's see where those go. It's like we got a dead end on that side. See, he didn't get stuck in the corner right there. He turned around almost instantly. Huh. I wonder if it's just like, a, I don't know, maybe I'm just bad at video games. That's also a distinct possibility. Back down the tube with my sluggy cat. Gonna climb a pole and stay away from that. I don't know what it is. It's trying to kill me. 
All right, let's do some acrobatics right here. Everybody roll an acrobatics check real fast. Uh, you can give yourself advantage. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to try and make the jump in just a second. Like, the last thing I want to do is fall down in the pipe right there and get eaten. That would be the worst. I don't want to die in a gator pit today. I'm not Floridian enough. I can't do it. All right, let's go for it. Oh, shit, dude. What is that? Oh, my God. What was that thing? It's not bad enough. We've already got to deal with, like, Dayglow gators trying to eat us all the time. We've also got these weird rope snake things that are just up there, like, being decoys, just being like, yeah! hiding the corner waiting to get us. I wonder if there was a way to identify that before I did that. I wonder if it does, like, a little flex thing or if it does, like, a little, just like a whoosh, like a little shimmy shiver thing. I bet there's a way to telegraph it that we could figure out. Either way, I'm going to work my way back to where we were. If you want to see more of Rain World, please let me know. Leave me lots of comments down below. I have been going through them as much as possible lately, trying to get all interactive with everybody. Uh, let me know what you think about the game. This is by Adult Swim. It's called Rain World, where you take control of a slug cat and try to survive a weird post-apocalyptic world. If you guys want to check the game out further, I have no problem spitting out a couple more videos for all those spitting that hot fire on the track. But other than that, I will see you all when next we get together, all right? Bye, everybody. Check the game out down below. I got it for you in the description, okay? I do.